powder grinding. Wait, don't leave yet. Here, let me put something more entertaining on for you. Ah, oh, much better. But no, seriously, this video isn't boring, I promise. It's actually very entertain. <sighs> Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, so sorry, sorry, I fell asleep. Um, yes, this video is not boring, I promise. Um, subscribe? Let's get into the video. Right, okay, we are going to do powder grinding. We have our, our pretty good setup here. It's kind of like, a, it's, a, it's a pretty good mid-game mining setup, you know? Um, yeah, we've got our jungle pickaxe and everything, and uh, yeah, we're, go we're gonna start powder grinding. I think we're gonna go for about... 5 mil, 5 mil, that seems about right for our mining setup, you know? It's it's not really the greatest. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna begin powder grinding. We, we've got both the powder tools here, we've got the we've got the level 100 legendary scather. We, we got everything we're gonna need, yeah, we're, we're good, I think. So, yeah, let's get right into this. Okay, a quick disclaimer before we get into the video. This is not my mining setup, but Live Creeper just gave me this for the clip. Um... <laughs> I don't actually have this mining setup. <laughs> I will do by the end of this, like, full grind, but, um, but yeah, <laughs> we've, we've got, like, we've got our own, we've got our leggings, I guess, and our mineral, but no, this is not our mining setup. Can we max Great Explorer? Please? No! We still have to look at a lock. No. I don't want to look at the locks. At least it's only one lock. Oh, hello. Man. hello. Here, you can have your 380 mil back. Amazing. It, it was much appreciated. This feel. Oh no! Wait! 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 Hold on! Hold on! I right, remembered. I remembered. I remembered the the ten slime balls and the sulfur. I'm gonna give you something. So yeah, I'm very glad you did that. All right, here you go. Okay, I've got a present for you go. as well. Yo, no way, I got a full <laughs> double chest of these and threw them out, but thank you. <laughs> I think you might want it for your nucleus running. Oh well, thank Very you. Helpful. Um, yeah. another I helix, didn't I guess. Me yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Look at this crazy trade, bro. <laughs> I got a helix out of that, wow. Ooh, it really puts into perspective how little purse I have. Mm. Okay, well, yeah. there you go, thank you for the, uh, Amazing. For the money. <laughs> In the middle of my powder grinding, Aatrox became mayor, so I decided that I would get some carries to E-Man at level 6. This would unlock some items such as the gyrokinetic wand and the atom split, both being super useful for future use. And... There it is! Enderman Slayer level 6! Let's go, dude! That did not take long at all. Second day of Aatrox and we get it. Nice, bro. Here we go. This is the last boss for Sven level 7. Nice. Right, let's claim this XP. Yo, Sven level 7. Let's go. We can now use the Overflux Power Orb. Let's claim this. Boom. 125 Skyblock XP. Wow. That's really good. Here we go, the last boss for Revenant Slayer level 8. This Aatrox has been really productive actually. Like we've got Sven 7, Eman 6, and now Rev 8, which is super super nice. So let's see if we can drop a heart on the last boss, yeah? Definitely. This is the last amount of- this is the last Slayer I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go back to powder grinding, but yeah, here we are. Revenant Horror level 8. Let's go, dude. I copy that. Nice, bro. 50 health regen is actually crazy. Right, let's claim this. Boom. 150 scar block XP. Wow. Now we're, we're about 40% of the way to tier 9, but I'm not going to do this. This Aatrox, I'll do that at another time. But yeah, let's get back into powder grinding. We are now closing in on the final stretch for our powder grinding journey for now. We're going we're only going to be getting 4 mil mithril powder because I don't really see the point in getting any more mithril. 
but we will come back and do more gemstone powder mining afterwards after doing a bit of normal mining but for now we're going to be having about i believe four mil 5.5 mil if we have a look here yeah it's about that but in while when once that number in the top reaches 50 not 50,000 100,000 sorry i will know that i am at four mil mytho powder which is the perfect amount to max out mining speed and mining fortune one and max out fortunate which is the only really mining stat related upgrades for the heart of the mountain tree like there is mining wisdom and all the other stuff but those don't really matter all too much it's mainly just the mining speed and mining fortune at the moment so yeah we're just gonna finish this off real quick Oh, there it is. I didn't even realize. There we, there we go. I think that is, that should be, yeah, 4 mil, 5.35 mil. Not bad. Let's go, dude. All right, we're going to go back to the island and we are going to calculate a few things before we finish here. So I'll just, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> what the heck? Where's my island gone? Okay, I'm just gonna sort some things out and I will be back in a minute. Okay, here we are, back on the island. I did, I managed to fix it. I just had to swap lobbies. It was probably just like some kind of visual bug, but now we have done just a bit of powder grinding. I want to show some of the stats that I had. So in total from getting four mil mytho powder, I got to 6.1 million hardstone collection, which is a lot, but yeah. So that also in turn meant I made a lot of money, Ma mainly from sludge juice. So I made 91.5 million just from sludge juice by getting four mil mithril powder. And to put that into perspective, I need three times that for max mythyl powder in terms of Scarblock XP. That is insane. And then also 31 mils worth of hardstone, not crazy, but like even the oil barrels, 9 million coins worth of oil barrels and 8.2 millions worth of coal, like <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So I made 148 million coins there, but that's not all. You can now get diamond and gold essence from these powder chests. So I made 28.2 million coins worth. Well, a little bit less if you deduct the crimson and ice essence that I have for some reason, but it's still a pretty sizable amount. So we made quite a lot of money from this, which is really nice actually, as I'm about to go into my mining journey. Also, I would like to thank Lemon for letting me use his jungle pickaxe and a live creeper for letting me use his scather. Don't worry about it saying it's a level 1000 golden dragon. That's that's just a visual bug trust. But yeah. So, we are now going to do mining properly. So, we need to buy a setup and everything. But first, if you look in tab right there, a certain mayor is coming into office in 36 hours. That being Derpy, and obviously Derpy, as he is known for, gives 50% more skill XP, which is why I have these melon minions down, and also why I have this machine right here, the Alchemy Speckle Machine. I built this machine, it's probably really overcomplicated, but I just didn't want to do it by hand, and you can probably guess what it's for. I have everything I need here to get Alchemy 50, this Derpy, which cost me about 68 million coins. So I'm blowing a lot of money just for Alchemy 50. I just want the stats and the skill average, but that's fine. And then the Melon Minions, I also just get a ton of mining and farming XP. And then I've got some fishing minions, so yeah. The rest of them are just collection, basically. But yeah, next episode is going to be a derpy video where I'm, pro I'm probably gonna do some dungeons. Yay, dungeons. And also get Alchemy 50 and just a ton of other stuff. So that's where I'm going to leave today's video off. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.